Okay. So equations in y equals mx plus b. That's the main thing you need to take away from today. That equation and how we're going to plug stuff into that equation. Bless you. Okay. So non-proportional linear relationships, lines not passing through the origin are often written in that equation, y equals mx plus b, where b is anything but zero. So it's called slope intercept form. And when an equation is written in this form, m is your slope. So I'll write a little bit bigger. M is your slope. That's what you guys have been finding for the past like week. That's your change in y on top of your change in x. It's always a ratio. And it's your rise over run if we're looking at a graph. Okay? And so the B represents your y intercept. Which all that means is it's where your slope line crosses the y-axis. And which one is the y-axis? The vertical one. The vertical one, okay? So intercept, always think about interception like in football. Your slope line is coming across and it's intercepting that y-axis. So that's where your line crosses that line, that y-axis. It's kind of your starting point. So when they give you this equation, all we're doing is breaking it down. We're just piecing it out. So if I am given y equals x minus 3, and they want me to identify the slope and the y-intercept, okay? My slope is that m, which is just looking like x right now. But if there's not a number in front of your variable, pretend there's an imaginary one there. So technically my m is 1. Okay, so if that's my m, that's my slope, what's my y-intercept in that equation? The negative 3. There's a negative in front of it or minus. We want to include that. So negative 3 is the b, the y-intercept. So then example 2, if we're... If we've got a graph, okay, so if they give us an equation and we want to graph that equation on the coordinate plane. So they gave us y equals 2x plus 1. So I'm going to write that over here, y equals 2x plus 1. If you're given a blank graph, I know this has stuff written on it and it already has a line, but when you're given one of these, your starting point is that y-intercept. Okay, so that's where it crosses the y-axis. So that's my first point. Okay, so I'm going to put that first point on the y-axis. So it's basically at three. positive 1. Okay, because that's where my line is going to cross the y-axis. It's at positive 1. So that's my first point. Okay? From there, I'm going to use this slope, which is 2. But remember, slope is always rise over run. So how can I write that slope as a fraction? Um, two, two, two. two over one. Anytime it's a whole number, just plop it over one. And so then I want to make a couple more points on there. So starting from my y-intercept, starting from that blue dot, I'm going to rise two, because that's what my slope said to do, and I'm going to run one. Where's so vertical change over your horizontal change. It's on the board, on positive one. Okay, so that positive one is your y-intercept, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where it crosses the y-axis. So that's why we put a dot there. Oh, so we're making our own dot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, the graph already had that on there, but yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, down at the bottom, slope-intercept form. M is the what? What did we just say? Slope. Slope. Not the y-intercept. Mm. M is the slope. It's the rise over run, change in y over change in x. And then B is what? Y-intercept. Where your line crosses the y-axis. Write the equation of the line with the given slope and the y-intercept. So remember, slope is m. 
y-intercept is b, and it wants it to be in that, that equation, that format. So what's that going to look like if I plug those numbers in? Y equals... Good, negative 2x plus 5, because it's a positive 5 I got. So that's all you're doing, plugging those things in. As long as you know the x and the y, that's always part of the equation. The things you plug in for m and b, m for slope, b for y-intercept. Number two, same thing. I got my slope, m, and my y-intercept, b. So if I plug those numbers in, 0.75x. y equals, you could do 0.75 or you can keep it 3 fourths x since it's slope. You want to rise over run? So 3 fourths x, what else? Minus, 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 three. minus 30. The first thing I would write down, the first thing I would look for when they give you a graph, because you're going to see some like this on the test, find your y-intercept first. So if this is my y-axis, this is my slope, where did it cross that y-axis? So <clears throat> here's your origin. On the y-axis, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, down here at negative 5. 5 when we put it all together. 4 thirds x minus 5. Four. Same thing on number 4. The first thing I want to find is the y-intercept. So where does your line cross that y-axis? 1. 1, positive 1. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. okay, so then from point to point, that's how I'm going to find my slope. What kind of a slope is it? Can you all tell just by looking at it? Negative. It's going to be negative. So whatever that slope is, it's going to be negative. So from point to point, my rise over my run, I go down two and run four. That's okay. It's the same thing. It's your vertical change over your horizontal change. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you go up and down first. So negative two fours, can we reduce that down, Dalton? One half. Negative one half, good. So if we put it all into the equation, what is that going to look like? Negative one half x minus plus one. Plus one, good. Okay, same thing. Look at number five. <coughs> First thing, identify where it crosses the y-axis. So what's my, the two. B? Mm. Two. Good, it crosses at two. And then I've got that other point there to help us find the rise to the run, the slope. So if I rise one, two, three, four, and I run one, two, three. So my slope is 4 over 3. So let's put it all together in an equation. Go for it, Dalton. Um, 4 over 3x plus 2. Minus 2. Plus 2. It started above the origin. And then look for more crosshairs. I can put one here. Crosshairs? I'm dying. In the center oh. of the Wait, cross. Oh, Billy never looked through a rifle. I got one crazy. more. Oh, and the then the where do they hit the, the line? Last one. Okay, so if I've got my points, I'm going to pick two that are close to each other and find that slope, find that rise over run. So, Katie, what'd you get? Oh, well, I didn't have to get two points. Well, okay. What's your rise? Okay, yeah, I skipped the y-intercept. I didn't mean to. But if I rise 3 and I'm going to run 2 and then look at that slope line, what kind of slope is it? Negative. It's negative, right? Yeah. So negative 3 over 2 because rise <laughs> over run. 
Then what about the y-intercept? What's the y-intercept on that graph, right? Negative three. Negative three. So put it all together. Put it all together. Put it all together. Y equals what? What do I got? Y equals negative three over two x plus three. Minus three, because I had a y-intercept of negative three, so I'm gonna put minus three. Same thing like we've been doing. I want to start on that y-intercept, okay? So if I'm starting on the y-intercept on the y-axis, that's my the b here. I want to put that point at positive 2 on the y-axis, right? Yeah. Okay? Then my m, or my slope, so what I'm going to do from there is 2. But slope is always rise over run. It's always vertical change over horizontal change. So how can I make that um, whole number two look like a fraction so I can rise and run? Just put it over one. Yeah, and that would be equal to, right? It'd be the same, yeah. So from that point, that's my starting point, that positive two, I'm gonna go up two and over one because that's what my slope said. And I can go backwards to make another point. I can go down to, to the left one. Do we have two? Mm -hmm. If you have at least two, then you should be good. I do more than two just to make a straight line through it because you want to connect all those dots and make an arrow <laughs> and make my y-intercept, make my first point there, okay? The slope they gave me was just x. So what is that in number, in number form? What is that? It's just one, right? And yeah, to make it a fraction, like we like to see in slope, one over one. So then I can use that for my starting point, rise one and run one. I'm gonna rise and run. Same thing, where do I wanna start? Where do I want my first point to be? positive 2 on the y-axis and the slope that they gave me it's a negative first of all so I know my line it needs to look like that eventually and it's already in fraction form so I'm gonna use it just like they gave it to me so rise and run so from that point I can go down one since it's negative and horizontal 2 so down one, over two. Ooh.